Alright, hi guys, this is us, SlayerFan666, and today I'm going to show you how to get iProtect on your iPod Touch for free. Alright, so you're going to need one of these things that is essential for this. You're going to need um, a router, which is located here. So you're going to have to be hooked up to a router. You're going to have to have Cydia, which means it's a jailbroken iPod, right? So, I was looking in the search for uh, Cydia, and I searched up um, iProtect, and apparently you have to pay money for it. And you get it off Cydia. But I was talking to one of my buddies, and I got a link from him that gives you, like, a lot of stuff for free. And those other things that you get is iProtect. All right, so I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you the um, link you have to get for it. All right, so you're going to go to Manage. You're going to go to Sources. All right, click on that. All right, it should show all your sources that you have on your iPod Touch already, all right? So you can see I have Sinful. Repo, this is the link you're going to need. All right. You're going to need this link right here. So copy it down now. Do whatever you need to. It'll try to zoom in for you. So it looks like zoomed in. All right. I don't know if that made a difference to you. All right. So you're going to need this. this is essential. So in order to add this, you're going to go to edit. All right. Go to add. Which should be up here. All right. Add. This should come up. All right, you're going to enter it in and then click Add Sources. You should add it. All right, once you get that, you're going to click on it. All right, click on Sinful iPhone Repo. All right, you're going to go down till you see... So wait, as you can see, too, you can get um, emulators on here. I have a Game Boy Advance emulator. I'll be making another YouTube video on how to get those and get uh, the uh, ROMs for them. You can get Infinite Dog. That's another six thing. I'll show you in the next video. And uh, here it is. I pr I uh, I uh, protect right here. Just click it and you d and you uh, install it. All right, it comes in really useful. I'll show you what it does here in a sec. All right, so I'm gonna back out. Let's wait for it. All right. So here. So let's say if I want to get into. I don't know, let's say uh, if I want to get into my, I uh, know it doesn't work for music, right? I'd say if I want to get into my weather, right? What I do is I click on it, and it bring up this screen. And in order to access the weather, you have to input your code, right? I'll show you how to set that up right now. Once you install it, it should be something that looks like this. It shows up I protect. Click on that, right? All right, I'll show you a whole bunch of stuff. When you first get it, it'll be this will be off. All right, make sure you click it on. And where you're going to want to go, it does a lot of cool stuff too. Like it, it disables icon moving, disables um, uh, app deletion. So if someone gets a hold of your iPod, uh, they want to delete some apps, we'll let them. It um, uh, disable the home double tap, which uh, basically when you double tap and you don't have to lock in control your music. And uh, it can disable the search results, all right, which that comes in useful to anyone grabs hold of their iPod. So where you're going to go for this, you're going to go to locking applications, click that. All right, see what I did saves a lot more time if you have a lot of apps, is just hit lock all applications. A thing should show up that shows your password, input your password and then click save. It'll save it all, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, just a note though, make sure you have your password written down or someplace, because if you don't, um, if you don't remember, you can't get back into your iPod or any of the apps that you put the lock on. But like I said, it's a great app. So if you uh, you have gym or something you have in the change and someone takes it, you're not going to be able to unlock. It should be fine. Uh, great. It has no problems, and I'll be showing you more videos, right? Thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Bye.